In this video, we address a philosophical question that we have all asked ourselves at some point in our lives. What is the meaning of life? What do we even live for? Silenus is a tragic figure in Greek mythology. He is the wisest of all satyrs, but this wisdom seems to be a burden to him. He was often depicted with a big belly, a puckered nose, balding hair, donkey ears, and a tail. Furthermore, he traveled with a donkey. In another video of mine, you can see why Priapus, the god of fertility, hated donkeys. He looks dissatisfied. He always carries a wine bag since he is constantly drinking. But why? To understand his pain, let us look at the story of Silenus. The tale starts with the birth of Dionysus. To protect the infant from the wrath of Hera, Hermes took the infant and gave it to Silenus. He took good care of the child and he developed splendidly. Dionysus became one of the twelve Olympian gods. Silenus didn't leave his side. He was commonly present in the train of Dionysus. He was always drunk and jolly. Like Dionysus, he was a god related to orgiastic rituals and excessive wine drinking. When intoxicated, he was a prophet with knowledge of the past and the distant future. He was often found sleeping in the forest. Mortals could trap him and command him to sing or prophesy. One day, King Midas needed his help. In order to find him, he used a trick. Midas filled a spring with wine near his palace. Silenus was successfully lured out of the forest and got drunk until he passed out. Hey, the guards wake, woke Silenus and Midas asked him for advice. He asked him about the best thing in life and what humans should go after. After persistently inquiring about the god, he finally got an answer. Why do you force me to speak? What if it were better for you not to know? The best thing after not being born at all is to die as quickly as possible. That was not the answer he expected. This pessimistic view of life is common in Greek culture and theater. His answer clearly shows that Silenus was wise, but still gave bad advice. But how did he come to be so pessimistic? Silenus was a god and had prophetic insights regarding life and existence. But he was of the opinion that it wasn't worth living at all. He enjoyed life through music, dance and wine drinking, but every celebration of life had to end. This made him cynical and bitter. Silenus was also immortal. For many, it seems like a blessing, but for him, it was an existence of pain. Immortality was nothing more than eternal suffering. He could never find peace. His agony was only tamed by intoxication. His cynicism has a surprisingly dramatic perspective. Hey, uh, what was the purpose of life anyway? Who knows? Probably some hogwash about the human spirit. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. The deity plays a key role in Friedrich Nietzsche's The Birth of Tragedy, 1872. Nietzsche is of the opinion that without art, life itself is not worth living. Art isn't good, it's a necessity. Existence is horrible, full of pain and misery. The only thing that can provide solace is art. For Nietzsche, the perfect art is a balance between the Apollonian and the Dionysian. The expressions are based on Apollo and Dionysus, the gods of art. Dionysian art is associated with an orgiastic mysticism and madness that Nietzsche described as intoxication, like Silenus always did. He was constantly drunk to dull his senses. Nietzsche thinks that humans are hopelessly alone, crushed under the burden of their own existence. They find meaning in the art of Dionysus by indulging in meaningless pleasure. The Apollonian art represents, in contrast, harmony, progress, clarity, and logic. Both arts are in constant conflict with each other. They juxtapose in the interplay of tragedy. The hero wants justice, but creates chaos. My own opinion, I don't agree with that pessimism. Life is precious and should be highly valued. Many people drive to Dionysian art, which I understand as a form of hedonism. We're insecure about what we want in life, so we intoxicate ourselves with meaningless pleasure. It's important to find a purpose in life, so you don't end up like Silenus. My purpose in life is to take care of my family. Everything I do is for my family, so think about yourself. What is the most important thing in your life? When you work towards that goal, life gets precious. See you next time, your geek philosopher.